In January 1943, a far-reaching chapter in Air Force history was written in the Pacific between Henderson Field and Espiritu in the Hebrides. Sighted after drifting helplessly in a rubber raft for six days, Brigadier General, now Air Force Chief of Staff, Nathan F. Twining and his crew of 14 are saved from the treacherous grasp of the ocean. Dramatic wartime episodes such as this helped set the stage for organization of the Air Rescue Service three years later in 1946. Today, air rescue units around the globe wait for a momentary call to duty. In the first 10 years of its existence, Air Rescue Service has saved more than 4,000 people from certain death. 40,000 others have been pulled out of assorted tight spots around the world. On this mission, an SA-16 Albatross goes in search of a crew down in the ocean. Air Rescue Service came into its own during the Korean conflict. 9,680 fighting men were saved through its efforts. 1,000 of these from behind enemy lines. Air rescue men are experts in the truest sense. One man summed up their feelings by saying, there's no bigger satisfaction than looking at the face of somebody you just pulled away from death. Men of the Air Rescue Service find life-saving all in a day's work.